Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are connecting for from. Uh, this is your friend, Okwemi Steven, in the School of Learning and Development. I want to use this medium to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch uh, my video and also subscribing. And if, it is, um, if this is your first time of uh, watching this video, Please, I would like you to uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, like, turn up your notification, and also share, comment, and also share this video. I really, really appreciate if you can just uh, do that for me. Thank you uh, very much. So today, as you can see from the screen, I'm going to be talking about conditional access, which is the block access by location. So the last time I did something on conditional access, which is um, enabling MFA for the users, which is so we I'm still on the series of conditional word access. So today is block uh, access by location, the conditional access block access by what by uh, location. So quickly. Now, so last uh, the last time I talked about the conditional access uh, enabling MFA, I spoke about the definition about conditional access, which is uh, here again. You can see it from you can see I said conditional access policy is a tool that essentially works with an if then statement, if then statement to make decisions and enforce organizational words policy can you see that if then what statement you can say from example said, for example if the user wants to access an application or service like microsoft 365 an untrusted location block can you see that if what a user wants what access our what our application or microsoft 365 from what untrusted location is that what block what okay so you can see uh we see very precise and then you can see the importance of this uh conditional access policy we said for identity control protect organization access enable user to be productive how it work signal collection so it collects signal and then it does the policy evaluation and then make the, they have all the decision making and before we come on now reinforce uh that particular policy so this is how uh the conditional access work so you can check the microsoft learn document for more information about that so like i said today is the conditional access block access by location now what is this said this is a security measure that restricts access to resources based on the geographical location of the user based on what the geographical what location of what of the user is that the location condition is commonly used to block access from countries or regions where your organization knows traffic shouldn't come from so which means that if your company only operates in uh uk and indian or operate in uk nigeria and you don't want your user to log in from another other location you understand so you can actually watch use this uh block access by location to what to restrict what the access of the user by what by geographic what location you can see that it said the location condition is what's commonly used what to block access from countries that is countries you don't want your users to have access you don't want your users to to access your resources from you understand so you can set that uh now how conditional access by location works identity identify trusted locations can you see that it will it will identify what the trusted location if it's a trusted location, it will light. And if it is not, it will, it will definitely be denied. Then user location detection. Then it will not detect that user. Which location is this user? 
is this the location that is being, I mean, that is restricted or is the location that is permitted? If it's a restricted location, definitely the user won't get access. They do not evaluate what, evaluate what, access rule. Now, to now look at the rule, what are the rules for this user to be able to have access at this particular location if the user is permitted or if the user is what is being uh, denied? Then it will now what enforce what that policy. You understand? So it's what it will enforce that policy. So the policy can either be you are allowed or you are not allowed. You understand? So that is uh, what that actually means. Now, what are the benefits then? One, it enhances what security. As we all know, security is one of the backbone of what of every organization, either large, medium, small. Security is what is very, 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 very important, and that is the reason why it is good for companies to well, to enforce what well, security practice what well, among users. So there should be like a yearly or maybe quarterly what cyber security training or a, a training where user needs to complete. It should be what for a compulsory thing for users what to complete. Understand? So that is one of the benefits of this uh block access by location. Then two, compliance. Every organization what has what this compliance what policy. So which means that if you are working in a particular organization, you should be what you should be you should comply what with the policy. The policy has stated that you cannot access this, you cannot access our app at a particular what country. And so therefore, if you travel to that particular company, I mean to that particular country without maybe informing your manager. Or informing the IT, you understand. So if you get there with the aim that when you get there, you can work from there. You know, when you get there, you will just notice that when you try to log in, you are not able to work, to have access. Why? Because of what your organization has was. Why? That because of what there's what there's a compliance. So if you are not being compliant, you understand, you not have access. Then we have what risks management. All this is just what to avoid what risks. So we try to what to manage risks, and this is what every company should embrace. How to what how to manage risks. You understand? So uh, that is uh, for the benefit of the conditional access block by location. Now, in conclusion, conditional access by location is a powerful tool for enhancing security by controlling where user can access system and data, thus helping to mitigate risks associated with unauthorized access and cyber threats. So can you see uh, that? So uh, yeah, so thank you uh, for watching quickly. So I will want us to jump to the uh, demo where I will show you how you can actually do that. Okay, now, so this is my portal, which is my admin.microsoft.com. Uh, you know, this is where you can navigate to every other side. Understand? So now I want to go to my identity. So you come up here and click on your identity. Now, when you click on this identity, when you click on your identity from here, when you click on your identity, you come up here, you have your protection. From protection, you can see you have conditional word access. So you click on that. Now, when you click on your conditional access, now you now come to this place where you have word named location named what location so you click on this first so when you click on that you can see now click on countries what location click on it now i will now come up here and look for the uh the country i need to restrict access so let me just give it a name let me say uh let me say restrict Okay, restrict uh, location access. So let me just give it that name. 
So here, I will now come up here and I'll type the country I'm looking for. So I'm going to be using uh, United uh, States. So click on it, click on United States. So click on that. Uh, so that is where I want to restrict my user. So you can select multiple. So it depends on location you want to restrict. So I'll click on that. Let's click on create. Now, after doing that, so you can see that it has been created, but not yet what configured. Can you see it now? I've created it. Then I'll now come back here and I'll click on policies. Click on policy. Here you have your conditional access. So you click on this new policy. When you click on your new policy, you now come up here and give it a name. Like I said, your naming convention is very, very uh, important. So depending on your organization. So like I said, I always said, if you are no longer in that company, it will not be difficult for the next person to work to understand how you name resources. When you have naming convention, you also give it a description so that that person can want, can uh, um, have access to those things and then understand what you have created in case if you are no longer in that company. So I, I can decide to give you say conditional access L, which is uh, conditional access location. You come up here and say this allow. location so i can just give it this allow uh, location access so then here you come up here and select your users so click on that so i want all users so uh, it depends so if you want selected user, you click on that you understand so this i want all users and then i'm going to exclude by cell which is what the admin so you don't get locked out as an admin so come up here and now click on these users and groups and then come up here you now search for the admin it's always good to uh exclude uh, the admin from your policy so yeah so i've excluded that then you now come up here, target resources. Click on this or target resources here. Now, what am I trying to target? All the apps. All the apps. You understand? All the apps is what I'm going to target. So if the user is trying to log in any of the app of the organization at the wrong location, definitely the user reward will be the policy reward will trigger immediately. Then come up here and click on your network. Click on this one here. Click on that and then you click on yes. And then here you now come up here and click on selected location. Selected location. So now, can you see that? Now, this is the one I created. Now, this is my name location I created. So I'll click on that and I'll click on save. So I've selected that. So you can see that now that has been selected. So you can see that that's the first thing you need to create your name one location where you now go and choose this country you want to restrict, you understand? So I'll click on that. So once that is done, uh, I will now come up here where you have condition. Oh yeah, so when you click on this your name location, so you can see that the condition has been picked already, which is uh, what we have there. So now come up here, you come to your access control, click on access control. Now I'll now say block. Can you see that now? If I want to make it more uh, secured, I can decide that what required multi-factor authentication. You understand? But normally by default, you should enable your uh, MFA, which I did a video about that. So click on that and say grant as a block. Now click on select. So when you do that, so enable what policy. Now you have reports. Only you have on, you have off. Now, just to make uh, things better for you, you can leave it at this uh, report only for now and click on your create where you can go back and then put it on so that in case if eventually you forgot something, you can so uh, it doesn't uh, trigger immediately for you. So I can go back to there. Here, this is my policy here. I'll click on this and then put it on. Click on on and click on my save. So now this policy is now what enabled. 
Now, let's say I now have a user. Now, let me see which user am I going to use. Let me go back to my admin. Um, click on active user. So, uh, let's say I want to use. I have a user here, one of the users. So I'm going to use uh this one, lucky man. So yeah, this is this I want to use, lucky man. So you can see that now. So let's assume this lucky man now is now in the US and he wants to log in. Now, can he log in? We don't know until he wants try to access and see if he or she can what can log in from that what region. So to let you know that I base in the United Kingdom. So if I come up here, if I say my location, so that you can see uh, what is going to bring out for me, so that you understand very well. So can you see that? Can you see I have United Kingdom? Now I have a particular VM which I've created. So I have a VM which I've created. So now I'm going to uh, open my VM. Uh, this is my Azure. So I have a VM I've created in my Azure environment. So I'll just go there and open that VM. Now, let me show you one thing. Click on the VM. This is my virtual machine. Uh, yeah, this is the VM. So you can see the location of my VM. You can see that location. You can see it's on Eastward US. You can see this VM is on, it's located at what? At East US. So if I come up here and I say connect, let me try to connect to this uh, VM and then log in from there. Let's see if my login will be possible. Okay. Yeah, so open it now. So I'm trying to connect uh, my VM. Oh, sorry, let me just go back here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my VM is off. So let me put it on for before connecting. Yeah, sorry. So start, now I need to start this VM. The VM is actually switched off. So I need to start uh, that VM. So, so you can see uh, the location of my VM. So you can see that it's located as what well at the East US. So we are assuming that that is where this user wants to log in from. And let's see if this user, if this user will be able to uh, log in from that uh, location. Now, okay, I think my VM is now successful. So now let me try to connect. So click on that, say connect, download the RDP file. Yeah, come up here. Connect. Yeah, so now it's going to ask me for the password. So let me supply uh, the password for my VM. So now I'll put in the password, click on OK. Yeah, click on yes. Yes, so my VM is trying to come up. So we are going to see if this user can log in from this particular location. Remember that the location of this VM is uh, US. So I can come here. Click on my browser, uh, click on my browser. So let me see type and so that you can see. So if I say uh, my location, uh, click on that. My location dot org, enter. So can you see that now? Can you see the country now? This is what US. So so you know that this VM is what is uh, deployed in the US. So now click on here. So if I want to log in and I go to office.com, uh, office.com, enter. And now I want to log in. 
with that user email. So I'll come up here, type in the email of that user, put in the email of the user, and then I'll say sign in. Now it's going to ask me for password. Type in the password of that user. Okay, the password is there. So click on sign in. Now we'll see if we can log. So can you see that now? It said you cannot access this right now. Look at it. It said your sign in was successful, but does not meet the criteria to access this resources can you see that now but does not want meet the criteria to what to access what these are uh, resources you, can you see that now why because of the policy has stated that that if any user is logging is trying to sign in from us block it do you understand it will definitely what block uh that particular user so can you see that that so that is why this user cannot what cannot sign in to our app why because that particular user was is logging in or from uh the us but now if i try let me just minimize this vm now if i come up here uh incognito mode and i say office.com Remember that this one here, um, uh, this is from the United, I mean, from the UK. So if I click on that, I now come up here. Let me try to log in from with that user. Put email address next, and then come up here and type uh, the password of that user. Click on password, and now click on sign in. So can you see what is happening now? You can see now. Is not blocking the user because of what this user is signing from here in the world in the UK. But while here the user is signing word from the US, which has already been blocked by our name uh, policy, our name location word policy. Do you understand that? So this is how you can actually uh, block user from a particular word location so where you don't want your user to access your resources you can create your conditional access name location and word and block uh that particular user i hope uh this video has helped you a lot i hope you'll be able to replicate this on your own uh environment okay yeah so thank you once again thank you for taking out your time to watch uh this video i still remain your friend Okoyemi Steven in the School of Learning and Development. So please, if you are just coming across this video, I would like you to be part of the family. Please kindly what subscribe, comment, like, share. If you have anything you want me to do, just put it there on the comment section and we'll brainstorm together and see how we can come uh, about uh, this. And if you need any help, just send me an email if i can't help you out we we'll definitely i'll take it to my community where i have a lot of friends that also what that can troubleshoot and then well we are all here to uh, uh to learn together thank you once again for watching this video bye bye and i will see you some other time thank you